probably you would think, hmm, her makeup is just overdue for a cooking video, right? <laughs> Me too. I just had a photo shooting today. Grinzi and Haluki to Mountain Family. My name is Karima and welcome back from Switzerland. Today, I will share with you my tagine with green beans and veal recipe. We love this tagine because you have everything that you need in one place. So you have your meat, your vegetables, and your good fat. I put the recipe down below in English and German as well. And if you have any question, just leave it in the comment section. If you are new here, consider yourself to subscribe and hit this notification bell so you don't miss anything. So now, let me go and change and let's start cooking. For our marinade, I am adding here to the meat one tablespoon of ghee, two teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of ginger, one teaspoon of dry coriander powder, and a little fresh pepper, and about two tablespoons of avocado oil or your olive oil. Massage the marinade very well into the meat and put it to the side. Here I have four medium onions. We need to chop them, but we are using only half on the bottom of the tagine. I am transferring my marinated meat to the tagine. Use about 4 tablespoons of water to capture the rest of the marinade and pour it carefully on the side of the tagine. And add the rest of the onions on the top of the meat. Set your burner on medium-high. I am using my old griddle pan just to protect my tagine from direct heat. Let's cook for 60 minutes. After 60 minutes are over, we need to flip our meat pieces to the other side and make space for the 1 kilo frozen green beans and cover it for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, here I am spooning the sauce over the beans to enhance the flavor. For the best result, I would encourage you to get a tagine. If you cannot get it there where you live, I put a few affiliate links down below for ones that I like, for example from Amazon. If you use those links, you will be supporting our channel at no cost to you. Alternatively, you can use your cooking pot, but be careful, you are going to need more water. Cover and cook only for another 5 minutes, 
and put it on the side. I am adding here about three tablespoons of olive oil and a handful of chopped parsley. Et voilà, our tagine is done. Yay, we made it! Thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you liked my tagine recipe. It's simple but it's so yummy. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit this notification bell for my next video. In the meantime, stay healthy and good appetit. <laughs>